following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Amy O and Jillian Lee, the Iconics. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Here comes the Riot Squad! And their opponents, accompanied by Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan, the Riot Squad. Look, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan will readily admit, listen, we're not the best of friends. We don't have a whole lot in common except for one thing, and that is to run the women's division in WWE. Time tag team match underway here. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, Ouch. I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, the old head scissor. Nailed it. Oh, oh man. You call a bad landing. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissors. Ooh, what impact. some offense here. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. I don't know about you guys, but... Oh. <laughs> nice. Shut it down. How is Sarah Logan gonna survive? She goes for the cover. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. Unlike the duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. 
There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title rank to their resume and enjoy the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there. Can she keep her down? That's how you dominate your opponent. Watch out! You gotta believe this one's over! What a stop! Members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. Well, I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Not a lot of superstars can pull off a move like that. He's able to get out of the way there. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Beautiful technique. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. She is on fire. Meal. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. He's back in full control now. Yeah, that move amazes me every time. Looking at it. This one's over, guys. I want to see that again. Yeah, you and me both.
We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. She's looking at it. Victory is on the horizon. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. Byron's feeling happy. Oh, oh, oh. Boom! Face first. Game, set, match. This one is over. She's got her where she wants her. No way. A oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is a... Here we go for the win! She might just be running on instinct at this point. That's too early for that. Shoulder tackle! She might have it. She's mounting a comeback. We'll see if it's enough. She will not... Harsh impact! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. Now, she just needs to finish her off. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. Incredible impact. What a cup. She goes for the cover. Two. Whatever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. That's a woman on a mission. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. You are not going to see many matches as good as that one. These superstars rose to the occasion and gave us more than we ever dreamed of. Here are your winners. Wow, now that's a commanding win. Now that's the kind of... Got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando.